Great. Um, so my name is Robert, and I'm going to tell you about this brand new library that was literally just released yesterday. Um, uh, you can find it here on GitHub. Um, and uh, what it enables you to do is to add scalable data dependencies uh, to Python projects. All right, so before I tell you a bit more about the library, I want to tell you a bit more about the, the, the motivation of like why, why did I end up making this. So I started my career like uh, in data science and machine learning about nine years ago, and I used to manage my data manually, uh, syncing files, uploading, downloading. Uh, but then there was, and initially that worked well, but then there were some disasters, some files were overwritten, uh, months of work lost and so on. So then I thought, well, uh, you know, this is terrible. Uh, we should be doing something much better. So then I said, well, I'm already using Git to manage all of my code. Uh, so why don't I use uh, Git to also manage all of my data? So for, for Git, there's this thing called Git LFS that enables you to efficiently store all of your data in, in, in Git. Um, and again, that worked fine for a while. Uh, but then uh, once I kind of started working, working in a team and so on, uh, what I found is that it just like over time that the repository would bloat because everybody would add all of their files in and, and then eventually you'll have this kind of, you want to check out the latest commit and it takes like three hours to, to, to pull all these like 10 gigabytes of files. So that didn't scale either and I was sufficiently annoyed with this whole thing uh, to say well actually we need a, a new solution uh, and actually kind of sit down and, and try to write it. Um, and that's kind of how lazy data was born. Uh, and the idea is essentially we want to store our references to files in Git so that so we, we still get this kind of uh, benefit of being able to, to version everything. Um, but then we don't want to pull the data automatically. We want to be able to kind of programmatically lazy load it whenever we need it. So that enables us to, to treat our storage backend as kind of a black hole. So you just put everything there and you just get files uh, as you need them and when you need them. So hopefully, that so far, this has scaled, but we'll see. Um, all right, so you do pip, pip install lazy data. So what happens next? Uh, so um, here's a simple script. Uh, the only thing you need to do is really to add uh, two lines of code. So obviously, the import. And then the second line of code is this track. Um, so what track does is just, uh, it'll, it's just going to start tracking this, uh, this data file that you give it as a parameter. So when I run python my script.py, uh, that's going to then say, well, I'm tracking a new file. Uh, so what does it mean that I'm tracking a new file? Well, we're going to take this file, we're going to hard link it to a local cache. That means we're just going to make like an efficient copy of it. And we're going to calculate the hash of it, uh, a SHA-256, uh, and we're going to add it to this lazydata.yml file. So this lazydata.yml file essentially has all of your files that you currently have that are kind of currently linked to your project, to your, to your, um, to your Git repository. Um, and in this, in this case, I just have one, one file, but I could have many. Uh, and this is a file that you would keep in Git. So this is kind of what assures that like at this specific Git commit, I was using this specific file, all right? So, and you're pretty much done. You've now versioned all of your kind of stuff internally within your, uh, within your computer, within your project. Now, of course, we want to share this. Um, so we're going to add a remote. Um, in this case, I'm going to use S3, and I'm going to do lazy data push. So that's just going to take all of the stuff I have locally cached and just push it to S3. And then uh, my collaborators can pull the code. Uh, they, they'll, with the code, they'll get this lazy data.yml, and they can download individual files if they want to, or directories, or whatever. But they can also just say Python my script.py. And what this is going to do is it's going to run that same script and, what, and when, um, again, we get that track command, that's now going to check, it's going to see that we have a file that we are tracking, but it's not present in the local copy. And you're going to say, okay, I know where to find this file because I know what the remote is, I know what the hash is, I'm just going to go and download it. Uh, so essentially, if you're just kind of rerunning someone else's script or just kind of going someone else's notebook, you can just use it, essentially, and it works. And that's pretty much it. Um, you now have a Python project with data dependencies. Um, obviously, this is a completely new project, so I think a, a lot more is, is going to be coming soon. Um, because you have this programmatic access, there's lots of interesting stuff you can do. So you can uh, like uh, add dependencies to notebooks, to classes, to Python projects, uh, I mean, Python packages. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks very much. Check it out.